After 51 years in football, Alabama head coach Nick Saban has called it quits, ending an illustrious career that earned him nearly $150 million, before taxes and agents' fees, on the sidelines, according to Forbes estimates. The University of Alabama has been a very special place to Terry and me, he said in a statement on Wednesday, referring to his wife. We have enjoyed every minute of our 17 years being the head coach at Alabama as well as becoming a part of the Tuscaloosa community. It is not just about how many games we won and lost, but it's about the legacy and how we went about it. We always tried to do it the right way. The goal was always to help players create more value for their future, be the best player they could be and be more successful in life because they were part of the program. Hopefully, we have done that, and we will always consider Alabama our home. A seven-time national champion with 297 career wins, five were vacated because of NCAA violations. Saban has perennially been one of the top earners in college football. He collected $124 million at Alabama alone, according to data from USA Today, as well as around $25 million, by Forbes's count, from other coaching stints that included LSU, Michigan State, Toledo and the NFL's Miami Dolphins. That total exceeds the career prize money of other sports greats such as Tiger Woods, $121 million, Roger Federer, $131 million, and Rafael Nadal, $135 million. That number could have been even higher had the 72-year-old Saban kept going. 16 months ago, he signed an 8-year contract extension worth $93.6 million that would have kept him with the Crimson Tide through the 2030 season. The deal, which carried an average annual salary of $11.7 million, reinstated Saban as the highest paid coach in college football. He had very briefly lost the top spot to his former disciple Kirby Smart, who signed a 10-year, $110 million extension with Georgia a month earlier in 2022. Saban's decision to call it a career came as a surprise to the sports world after he told ESPN in November, I'm not there yet, in reference to retirement. Before announcing his decision to players and staff members in a team meeting on Wednesday, he was reportedly interviewing candidates for assistant coach openings an hour earlier. By walking away from the final seven years of his contract, Saban will leave north of $70 million on the table. Washington head coach Kalen Deboer has reportedly accepted an offer to be his replacement. Coaching was actually a career detour for Saban, who planned to go into the automotive business after finishing his college football career at Kent State in 1972. I figured I would run a car dealership, that it was better to sell cars than fix them up, he told Forbes in a 2008 cover story. While his wife finished school, however, Saban spent the next year as a grad assistant under his former coach Don James, and he called a career audible.